Spring is here and it's time to get outside. You probably want to head to your backyard, but maybe you want a little more privacy this time around for the spring and summer. Well, Tom Jarnigan is with EAC Fence. Tom, I know you guys are, are crazy busy right now, right? Yes, ma'am. This is our this is what we call our peak season right around tax time. Uh, the weather's starting to get nice. People are getting out in their backyards, barbecuing, playing, having fun and a lot of them just want their uh, want their quiet time and peacefulness back in their backyard. Yeah, especially when you live in a neighborhood, you want to have like that little bit of your your oasis, right. your privacy. Right. You know, you don't want the neighbor looking at everything. Exactly. So we're in Jeffersonville, Indiana. This is a project you worked on. Tell me about this fence here. This is your uh, standard six foot tall white vinyl privacy. A lot of the new homes require vinyl fence in lieu of wood fence if you want privacy. So the white vinyl is a nice, cheaper option of the vinyl fences. There's a tan that you could go with, but it's a little more expensive. Talk about the different types of fence that you install. You said this is probably what the higher yeah, end, we're high doing end. this very, uh, it's very popular right now. Yes. What are some other types of fence that you install? I mean, if you want privacy, you can go with the vinyl like you see here, or you can just get your standard pressure treated privacy fence, which is always popular. Uh, we do four foot black chain link a lot and a lot of four foot aluminum. Again, the, the newer homes, a lot of the homeowners associations require the aluminum in lieu of the chain link. Uh, talk a bit more about that because that's great that you all are aware of that, right? Like you know that when people come to you and they're like, hey, my HOA says I have to do X or Y, how do you work with them on that? Well, I mean, a lot of times, like I said, if it's a newer subdivision, they're almost always gonna require the, the higher end. They wanna keep it looking classy. Consistent. And, yes, too, yes. Yeah. Which saying the chain link's not classy, it's just, it doesn't look as good as vinyl. Right. So what is the process like? Say if somebody's watching and they're like, I need to contact you, you get that email or that phone call, what's next? Uh, you can go to our website, eacfence.com, and we have a online form you can fill out or you can give us a call, to set up an appointment. We'll have a uh, sales consultant come out, take a look at your yard, give you the recommendations of what you actually need. The process is about a 10 to 12 week lead time on a product like this. Uh, aluminum is four to six weeks. Wood and chain link are pretty much really readily available just about any time. So once the order actually comes in and all the the pieces are there, so to speak, then how long should they expect for the installation process? Oh, once the material arrives, we're trying to get it in the ground within a week. Oh, that's great. Yes. Right. What are you hearing from people after they have their fence installed? We really haven't had any negative reviews. Any anything any problems we have, we try to rectify within okay. a yeah. couple of days. Probably they're like, thank God I have my privacy now, yes, right? Yes, <laughs> this yes. is what I expected. I get to enjoy my yard now. It's spring. You finally get to enjoy right. your yard. It's summer. Enjoy it. All right. Uh, any any discounts or, or special financing that you offer? We do offer financing, and we also have a uh, first responder and military discount. All right, Tom. Thank you. For more information, just go to eacfence.com.